Here comes a friendship boat. Oh yeah, maybe there isn't any spots out front. I thought that there was, but... There's something there is. Yeah. One the uh, uh, coming from the pond. Oh yeah, that's maybe sad. that's it. Well, I think that's what makes sense, the friendship boats. Yeah. There it is. Actually, I would do it if it was... Yeah, I'll sit wherever you want. Okay. Thank you. Uh, over there. Yay. I do. Okay, we arrived at the boardwalk. Place, I think. Yeah. We are headed right over there to flying fish for dinner. Can we get a Surrey bike home? No, thank you. You can rent Surrey bikes if you want. Sounds like a sweaty mess to me. <laughs> so Boardwalk has, um, well the Boardwalk Inn is kind of back behind us over here. Just got off the boat right here. Over there is the Yacht Club and the Beach Club. And so Boardwalk kind of runs down here. Flying Fish, Abracadabra, Boardwalk Bakery, ESPN. Screen door, something else. Oh, they're doing a, yeah, they're doing a movie in the, in the lawn over here. It's like a Marvel yeah, movie. Yeah. So, it's pretty cool, especially at night. Oh, I didn't even know, that's for, um, yeah, I believe. Always wanted to eat here, so we're very excited. Yeah, very excited. It was closed for the longest time. Yeah, after the pandemic, they didn't open up until like, I don't know, maybe two months ago? Yeah, not that long. Six weeks yeah. ago, maybe? So it's exciting. Just, just saying, I wish we had DVC points here. Yeah. If we were gonna buy more, I would probably be here. Oh, either here or the new tower. Yeah. We're checked in. Yeah, we're just waiting just for waiting. that push notification that, um, to tell us where our table is ready. Bush. Bush. Yeah. We've been waiting for you to open back up. So happy to see you. Really pretty. Hi. Nice. I'll sit over here. Oh, you want me to sit over there? Oh, look at that. You want closer out? I would like to be inside. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes I do it for the light, but they normally go the opposite direction. And Pedro is going to be your server today. Thank you. All right. Oh, I almost dropped. I almost <laughs> knocked that glass over. We are at Flying Fish. We've got our cute little silverware. It's like little fishies. We've got this menu here. I'm gonna look at the cocktails. Alright, I am gonna go with this pomegranate martini, which is absolute vodka, pomegranate reduction lime juice topped with kava. Sounds kinda like a um, cosmopolitan. Dan thinks he's probably gonna go with the old fashioned cocktail. Let's just say Woodford Reserve bitters, augment syrup bitters, simple syrup, <laughs> and orange peel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Oh, yeah. How about the, uh, we said on the, I'll take this. Okay. Are we said on the appetizers? I think so. I think we're going to share the lobster fizz. So it says, I don't know what that means, rainy. I don't know either. 
Chardonnay, Russian River. Oh, oh that's the oh, wine. Oh, that's pairing. the wine. <laughs> Cut that out. We're gonna go with. <laughs> Does say Sambuca. Uh, lobster bisque. We're gonna share and the tasting of artisan, artisan, artisan. artisan. Sorry, it's, I'm reading through the camera. It's hard. Oh. Uh, a tasting of artisan cheeses. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get a cocktail though, and probably some wine to go with our cheese and our entrees. So, I'm excited. I've been wanting to come here for so long. Yeah. Very it's fancy. Uh huh. It's fancy. <laughs> All right, our bread service came. He said they were potato or something, potato no bread or something. Should, should, yeah, it looks like soda bread almost, but it's not. Yeah. It's not it's not it's not it's not is it warm? Yeah, it's warm. Okay. And then some bread here. It looks like it's got some sort of herbs on there, yeah, chives or something. Yeah. Yum. They say stuff so fast I forget the answer. Yeah. We ordered our cocktails, so we'll show you those when they come. Okay, um, first bite of the but or the bread, butter. It's pretty good. I'm gonna ask him to tell me what kind of bread this was again, though. Um, I can't remember what he said, but the bread's warm. Could you tell us what kind of bread that is again? Potato chai. Chai. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, bud. Grace will be ready. <laughs> okay. Um, potato chai bread. <laughs> oh, that's the top. Yeah. No. Oh, I see the, I see the, in the, in the bread. Oh, yeah. It's like little chives. So, Very good. Yeah, it's good. Don't fill up on it, though, because we got good yeah. stuff coming. Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> Okay. Dan's old fashioned has arrived. I always get old fashioned. Want to taste it? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Is that good? I'm not sure what makes it so good. I'm like a trick list to it. Yeah. Put a little cherry juice like that. Is it like a dip? What, what goes in it again? Is it whiskey? It's whiskey, huh? <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah. Kind of whiskey that I use. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. They didn't add soda water like you said some places oh, Some yeah. places do, this does not. Yeah. Yeah, there's no watering down this way. You know, right? <laughs> and it's got a cool square ice cube in there like we do at home. Yeah, that's one of the better old fashions yeah. I've had in the Disney property. Cool. So, yeah, I wish you liked them, though. Yeah, I got a, I got a pink, I got the pink drink. I'll give it yeah, a try. It? It's a, this is the pomegranate martini, and he came and poured it for me from the shaker. Yeah, that was sweet. Yeah. Is that a lime or a cucumber? <laughs> oh, no. oh, it's recording. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of like a cough. A little shadow on your face. Does it? What did they call it? Uh, a pomegranate martini. Oh. They usually, usually has cranberry in it. Right? Yeah. It's like it's pomegranate juice instead. I think I do want to squeeze of this lime juice. A plus plus plus. Plus old fashioned. So glad I got that. Look at these cool little chandeliers up here. It's a very nice place. Very nice. That might be the, uh, was it some sort of. Sambuca? Or shiv oil? Chai oil. Chai oil. <laughs> So what does it say? It's lobster bisque, but it says sambuca. The only sambuca I know is the alcohol. Yeah. Uh, and, and chai oil. Okay. Want to try first? Yeah. Now you know, everybody knows. This is what we do. 
<laughs> but, oh, the whole bowl is really nice and warm. Well, I did. I had him split the lobster. Yeah, that was so sweet. Perfect. Thank you so much. Appreciate no, you're good. Perfect. Ready for a... Oh, yeah. Oh, cheers. Beautiful. Yes. Oh, I'll move this out of the way. Thank you so much. Thanks, buddy. You're so welcome. All right. You're, this is the menu for the cheese. Oh, perfect. All right. Is it in a particular you just, order? Yeah, you just... They're in order. You just go left to right okay. and top to bottom right here. Okay. Right. Thank Looking you. Good. Thank you. Sir. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Cool. Well, let's we'll, we'll get back to that. Let's <laughs> eat this while it's hot, right? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. It's like some. Uh, so I got a little bit of green, a little bit of white, a little bit of lobster. Now, last time we made the mistake at. Uh, the lobster bisque at the Yachtsman and we absolutely love it so much so we wanted to try it here. It seems like a of? very different. I never heard of or thought of Sambuca and lobster bisque. It's very interesting. I like it a lot. I'm not sure I like it as much but I like it a lot. Mm. And I'm interested in seeing what Heidi thinks because she is not a black licorice fan. Yeah. It's very, very subtle. Yeah, the lobster I couldn't really break too easily. Mm -hmm. She took a lot of lobster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> want some more soup? Okay. Can you taste that back? Just a little bit of anise, little that little tiny subtle flavor, black. Maybe a little. Tiny. I feel like this has a stronger lobster flavor. Oh. Yeah, It's definitely Yachtsman's, not a salty, right? Yeah, Yasmin's is more creamy. Yeah. Where this is a little bit more lobster forward. Mm. Really tasty. I like that though. Yeah, I like it a lot. I wish it was a tad bit warmer. Yeah. Alright. Uh, Dan is sopping up. Oh, you gotta be kidding. I'm not sending that back. <laughs> the last of that lobster bisque with the bread. It's so good. Really good. Um, and so I just want to talk a little bit about the cheese plate here. I have um, what each one is here. And they said it's from left to right top to bottom on this menu. So this first one here, it says it's a brulat savarin, I don't know. Um, <laughs> a soft crusted cheese made from pasteurized cow's milk. It is named after 18th century French gourmet John Anthem something, the name, his name, who is famous for his quote, tell me what you eat and I will tell you who you are. <laughs> This very rich cheese comes from Normandy and is produced year-round. It is typically aged for one to two weeks. So it's basically like a brie. That's what it looks like anyway. And this one here, the orange one, historically ripened for two years in the unique microclimate of the old cheese warehouse in Holland with its natural differences in temperature and humidity, has an intense taste of surprising protein crystals that burst with flavor. And that's a Gouda, this one here. And the third one, Thomasville Tom. It's a grass-based a grass cow's milk cheese made in the style of Pyrenees Tom, but with more buttery characteristics from the higher butter fat milk used. Um, so, the dairy started with a small herd of 11 dairy goats and grass-based Jersey cows made milk with a mission to show people a better way. 
Um, oh, there's five different ones on here. Okay. This one here, yeah. Cypress Grove Truffle Tremor. Ah, uh, you won't like that. Um, artisanal cheese varieties produced by master cheesemaker Mary Keene at Cypress Grove Farm located in rural Humboldt County oh. in the northernmost reaches of California. We actually have that at New Seasons. Humboldt? Yeah, yeah Humboldt. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, the classic flavor of the truffle meats the velvety perfection of the ripened goat's milk cheese. So that's cool. going to be a goat's milk cheese. Oh, and guess what that is? What? Rogue Creamery Smoky Organ Blue. Oh, my favorite. Rogue Creamery's Organ Blue is the first blue cheese made on the West Coast, and it is only fitting that it is the first blue ever smoked. It is yeah, cold smoked like for 16 hours over Northwest grown hazelnut shells. Hmm. Um, the result is a balance of sweet caramel and hazelnut flavors that magically contrast the sharpness of the blue cheese. And to go with the, these cheeses, I'm not, I'm not really sure what that is exactly. This looks like honey, yeah. like a... Let me see, it doesn't say it on there? On the no. Kind of. Some little bagel chip things of some sort. Can taste it? Crostini. Oh, it's sticky. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Is it sweet? Like a ginger snap? <laughs> and then there's like a little, some sort of sauce right here too that I think is yeah, just to use. That. Okay. Mm. Go for it. Wow. Um, we're going reverse. There's a smoky blue cheese from the Rogue Valley in Oregon. It was not very bluey. I like the smokiness of it. It's very smoky. I like it. I see a little bit of honey. I want to smell this potato bread. I thought that was good. And it wasn't a blue cheese, per se. The next one down was the truffle cheese, which I liked. And I consider a truffle flavor. Very strong. Again, high to the milk. Um, the one before it was the Jersey cow milk. Um, yeah. To me, it was probably my least favorite. Didn't have just kind of a normal cheese taste. You know, the white cheddar. Okay. That's the one I thought it tasted a little bit like Swiss cheese at first, and yeah. then it kind of like got stronger. I liked it probably better than you. And then the next one was the uh, Gouda. Gouda, which was really good. I love Gouda. It's one of my favorites. I usually get a little smoke, a smoke Gouda. Mm -hmm. So I was missing a little bit of that smoky excuse me. <laughs> like the real flavor was wonderful. Yeah. Very fresh, very really tasty. And the first one was one of my favorites. It was the Brie. Mm -hmm. But to me, that what was it about that one that I thought? You said it's really strong and we put it on that yeah. little like toffee crisp thing that was sweet. Yeah, we had like a toffee ginger crisp thing. And it was a really strong flavor. Yeah. The gluten is going to be pretty mild sometimes, but this was not mild. Yeah. And I enjoyed that very much. Yeah. Because it was so strong in the front that it overpowered the sweetness of the ginger toffee stand. And then it, after the cheese flavor went away, that nice sweetness came behind it. It was a good thing. Nice. Very impressive, very nice. Yeah. yeah. And we Oops. ordered our, yeah. The wines. Our wine. Dan got a like Shiraz cab blend yeah. of some sort. And then um, I ordered the, uh, what was it called? What is that called? Malbec, yeah. We're just gonna share. And we're just waiting for our entree to come. And we'll show that to you when it gets here. So good so far. Yeah, so good. Yeah. Okay. Our entrees have arrived. It's beautiful, man. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Um, Lobster tail looks beautiful. We're gonna split that, and they split our steak on the two plates for us. I like that Dan got a little bit bigger piece of steak. It was a bigger <laughs> um, Bernays sauce, which I don't really know what Bernays sauce is, but I'm sure it's delicious. And the little, um, look at the tiny little uh, potato gratin thing. Oh, cute. And then some um, cauliflower, some pretty purple and yellow and, Cauliflower. 
Why don't you taste the first bite? Mm. See how it is. Good cut, little tiny bit of fat on the end, which is good. Yeah. Mm. That looks good. It's really good. Yeah, because it almost looks burnt, but it doesn't taste burnt. It's like right on that edge. Yeah. I don't think you're going to like it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's right on that edge. Okay. Take another bite, is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool, I'll try it. I gotta have a sip of wine though. Oh yeah, I forgot about the wine. Let me take Okay. Try this. Try this New York strip. Okay. Sorry, I'm a little slow. Right? It's like right on that edge. I love it. You think it's crisp too burnt? Okay. Good. Why don't I um well, let me take a sip of wine. Uh-huh. And then I'll try the lobster. Oh yeah. I love that presentation. Yeah. It's the best I've seen in any like cold lobster tail that we've had. Oh, it's just like arugula or something. I don't know. Yeah, or watercress. Like Not sure. Okay. There is a little bit of like something. Let's see here. Looks good. <laughs> you can always tell when she doesn't say much and then she her forks and knives get right back towards the food. It's good. You like it? It's really good. Yeah, yeah man. Thank you, brother. All right. Enjoy it. Appreciate you. Okay. Thank you. Try the lobster? Yeah, we'll love to. I mean, it, it actually oh, doesn't, lovely. it doesn't really have like a strong um, butter flavor at all. It's just very like fresh and it is a little chewy. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't, I haven't had a lot of lobster in my life, so I really honestly don't know. Mm. It's got good flavor though. Mm. I could, I kind of wish it did have some butter to dip it in, but. Do you want me to ask for something? No, it's okay. Yeah, it's good. It's a little tiny bit overcooked. Yeah. That's why I get a little bit of mm -hmm. The flavor is amazing. Mm. Oh. The flavor is good. Yeah. It's not my favorite one. So yeah. Is there meat inside there? Um, not usually, no. Oh, okay. They're really thin. That's just there. It might be like right inside this back thin here. Okay. Cool. Well, okay. we're going to cool. enjoy and we'll give you our final thoughts when we're all done. Cheers, bro. I got everything. You're so used to having a backpack. I know. All right, we just yeah. finished a lovely dinner at Flying Fish. It was so good. Definitely come back again. Thank you. Uh, when I went to the restroom, the guy told me, uh, asked me if I knew where Flying Fish came from. And let me show you real quick. He says it, it it like was has something to do with this roller coaster the first one somewhere uh, some i forget where <laughs> but then see the front of it the very front of the roller coaster that thing yeah it's hanging right there oh that's actually it yeah was it in Coney island i don't know maybe i don't know because that's a boardwalk right <laughs> so <laughs> anyways yeah, that's what i think so. yeah could have been i mean i think that could have been yeah. So that was. We love the boardwalk. Yeah, we love the boardwalk. We loved flying fish. It's our first time ever yeah, dining the there. <laughs> it's the first time ever dining there at Flying Fish. Well, I got a, you get a picture of it. And it was so good. 
we will definitely come back here again. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel Magical Snippets and hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. We have a lot more content to show you. So we'll see you next time. We're gonna take a lift back to our hotel at the Pops.